On November 12, 2024, India achieved a major milestone in defense technology with a successful flight test of its long-range land attack cruise missile, RELACM. The test, conducted by the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, took place at the Integrated Test Range, ITR, in Chandipur, Edisa. The missile was launched using a mobile articulated launcher, and reports confirmed that all systems performed as expected, meeting the primary mission objectives. This success marks a significant step forward in India's efforts to enhance its self-reliance in defense technology and strengthen its strategic capabilities. The Lurlakm is a precision weapon capable of striking targets over 1,500 kilometers away. Developed as a successor to the nearby cruise missile, it is equipped with advanced turbofan engines and a sophisticated RF seeker system for enhanced targeting accuracy. The missile's design includes foldable wings with a span of 2.7 meters, and it measures 6 meters in length and 0.52 meters in diameter. Weighing around 1 ton, the missile is designed for deployment from both land-based platforms and naval vessels, offering versatility across various military operations. One of the key features of the LRACM is its compatibility with the Universal Vertical Launch Module, UVLM, which is also used for the BrahMos missile system. This allows the missile to be launched from both land and naval platforms, giving it a versatile edge in combat situations. During the test, the missile demonstrated its ability to follow a pre-programmed flight path, executing complex maneuvers at various altitudes and speeds. A network of sensors, including radar, optical tracking systems, and telemetry, monitored its performance, confirming the missile's accuracy and maneuverability. The missile is powered by the Monic engine, also known as the Small Turbofan Engine SDFE, developed by DRDO. This engine has undergone extensive testing as part of the Indigenous Technology Cruise Missile Program, and its successful integration into the LRACM is a key factor in its performance. Additionally, discussions with private companies about manufacturing the missile indicate that the program is moving towards large-scale production. The successful test of the LRACM aligns with India's broader defense strategy, which focuses on enhancing indigenous capabilities and achieving greater strategic autonomy. With its long-range precision strike capability, the LRACM strengthens India's deterrence capacity in a complex and evolving geopolitical environment. It complements India's existing arsenal of ballistic missiles like the Prithvi and Agni series, providing the country with a versatile powerful tool for strategic deterrence. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh expressed his satisfaction with the successful test, congratulating DRDO, the armed forces, and industry partners. He emphasized that this achievement marks a significant advancement in India's defense technology, paving the way for future innovations in indigenous cruise missile systems. Dr. Samir Veed Comet, DRDO chairman, also praised the teams involved, highlighting India's commitment to investing in advanced defense technologies. The LRACM is part of India's broader missile program which aims to reduce reliance on foreign arms imports and achieve self-sufficiency in defense. With its advanced capabilities, the missile strengthens India's defense posture and asserts the country's role as a regional power. As India continues to develop and deploy cutting-edge technologies, the successful flight test of the LRACM is a powerful reminder of the country's growing capabilities in the realm of defense. This missile, with its long-range strike potential, adds a crucial layer of strength to India's defense portfolio, ensuring the nation is prepared for any security challenges that may arise in the future.